This is Coffee with God and I am Father Jos. Let us begin this day with the word of God and a short reflection. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 6 verses 1 to 5. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. On a certain Sabbath Jesus was walking through a field of ripe grain. His disciples were pulling off heads of grain, rubbing them in their hands to get rid of the chaff and eating them. Some Pharisees said, "Why are you doing that? Breaking a Sabbath rule." But Jesus stood up for them. "Have you never read what David and those with him did when they were hungry? How he entered the sanctuary and ate fresh bread off the altar, bread that no one but priests were allowed to eat. He also handed it out to his companions." Then he said, "The Son of Man is no slave to the Sabbath. He is in charge." Reflections on the Holy Gospel according to St Luke chapter 6 verses 1 to 5 In Jesus' time the feast of the Sabbath began on Friday evening at sunset At that hour in every village a man climbed on the roof of the house and sounded the horn 3 times At the first call all the activities of the fields were suspended All the household works were stopped with the second call. Then when stars appeared in the sky, the person in charge sounded the horn for the last time. Then mothers in the families placed a lighted lamp by the window of the house. It was the sign of a people's joy who would welcome Saturday and received it with a lighted lamp because Saturday the Sabbath day was considered the bride and queen of Israel. The book of Deuteronomy prescribed that on the Sabbath do not do any work. As centuries passed, the rabbis began to define more minutely what activities were prohibited on the Sabbath. They identified 39 and each of them had 39 further specifications thus 39 times 39 amounted 1521 prohibited works this was the background to the question on the disciples of jesus violating the sabbath why are you doing something that is forbidden on the sabbath day in fact luke makes use of this incident to teach his community the actual meaning of the observance of the lord's day jesus reminds them of the incident from the old testament where king david and his men ate the bread from the house of god which only the priests were allowed to eat on the sabbath day 12 loaves of fresh bread were set on a table in the holy place originally the sabbath was intended to be a day of overwhelming joy the whole community would gather in the synagogue in the morning there they prayed and listened to the word of god after the celebration they engaged themselves in conversation then to lunch with friends basically it was intended to be a day spent with the lord in prayer and in meditation hence the lord's day is a time to spend with the lord That was exactly what the disciples were doing. They were spending their time with the Lord, listening to his word. A day becomes holy only when and to the extent that it promotes human sanctity and not hatred and anger. Today in our times there is another danger that the Lord's day serves only to recover from the stress of the works of the week, to be able to start again with more energy. the feverish activity in which one is involved this is the proverbial snake biting its tail to be truly humanizing the lord's day must be time to devote to the lord to meditation and prayer and works of charity mm-hmm.